Now, for example, here, we're going to be looking at a test that's given in the first trimester of pregnancy, what's called the triple blood test. It's a test performed to test for Down syndrome, or the likelihood that a child's born for Down syndrome more accurately. Now, this test in this study was given to women over the age of 30, and it's important we mention that because these results might not be generalizable to other age groups. On the left, we have a short description. On the right, the actual table. So the first question we want to ask is, if a child is born with Down syndrome, what was the chances that the woman actually had a positive test result? That is, what are the chances that the test was able to predict that? Now, in order to find this, the first thing we need to realize is that this is a conditional probability, and it's a conditional probability because we're asking out of the babies born with Down syndrome. So because I know it's conditional, we'll go ahead and write it here as out of, and we're saying out of the babies born with Down syndrome, what percent had a positive test result? Now, with all of our conditional probabilities, on the bottom, we put the group that we're narrowed down to. So I'm narrowing it down to children who are born with Down syndrome. Looking at this, the total number born with Down syndrome is 54. On the top, then, I need to go ahead and put the number who were born with Down syndrome and had a positive test result. That is, out of the 54, 48 of them actually had the positive test. So... In total, when I divide these here, keeping four decimal places because this is a proportion, I'll have 0.8889 or 88.89%. So, if a child's going to be born with Down syndrome, it looks like for this age group, there's almost a 90% chance that this test will flag that.